hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i want to show how you can cut a flowers or a peplum you know very easily without unnecessary calculations and then how you can fix a crinoline and um, lining to the peplum very neatly without any stress so the first thing is i'm going to fold your fabric into two like this as i'm doing okay i'm actually using a paper so that we can see it very well i'll transfer it to my fabric later after folding, you now fold it the second time. So that means you're folding your fabric twice. Okay. So once you fold like this, if you're using your fabric directly, you might want to press it so you know to eliminate any form of craze or fold here and there. So once you do that, so you want to take the edge of the fold there. Now you're going to measure your radius. You're not doing any calculation, don't worry. So um based on the style we're trying to emulate two or three inches is okay for the length of the radius so i'll just pick three inches and measure okay like that i'll just measure three inches round don't forget i picked the edge of my fold so you want to just measure three inches round if you're using your fabric directly it's fine it's fine for the purpose of the tutorial that's what i'm using um pattern paper so i'm just connecting all the dots together so this is your wanted part okay now i'm going to measure the length of the peplum itself now um i'll just use five inches okay can be can be probably four but anything less than four will be too small and the peplum will end up probably um you know facing up or something so just do five inches so i'm just doing five inches round okay and that five inches i've already included my seam allowance because i don't, I don't want the peplum if it's too long it will also drop okay okay i made this six plus seam allowance so i'm thinking i've added my seam allowance to the lower part of the peplum so like i said if it's too long the peplum will drop if it's too short the peplum will you know kind of shoot up kind of so you have to be in between so this is six inches round i'm just connecting all the points together and then i want to cut it out so once i cut out this is going to be my pattern and like i said previously you can actually cut it directly on your fabric so this is six inches right so if this is your first time of watching my video on my channel please make sure you subscribe to this channel and leave your comment and don't forget to like this video so i'm just cutting out like i said previously you can cut this directly on your fabric i have said it like for like four or five times now you can cut directly on fabric so i'm just cutting out like so so if I want to cut on my fabric, I'll just fold it the same way I folded the peplum, right? Now, for this um, flounce, you have to give it a little bit of structure. How do you do that? Number one, you're going to add estate to it, and I'm going to be adding crinoline to it. And then one more thing, one more thing. Um, what did I want to say? Yeah, one more thing is that um, you should add, uh, use an Ankara fabric that, that is that, um, like 100% cotton okay when you use all these ankara fabrics that are like polyester or partly cutting it has an effect on the um peplum or the flounce okay so yeah and then um from the picture you can see that they also use the fabric as a lining so i have two peplums here okay one is serving as a fabric the other one is serving as a lining okay so and then from from the style you can see that they have two steps of peplum so you can use the same process to cut the second one just that like the second one is, is shorter so this one is six you can make the second one to probably be five or four okay but it's the same process now i've already added i've already cut out my um st the same length with the peplum and i've used my pressing iron to um attach the st to the um, fabric and the lining so now i've pinned it round with my office pin very 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 important if you don't pin it you will get it wrong and you start using semi part to lose and lose so you pin it round okay and then this is my crinoline here okay so i'm going to attach my crinoline like so okay and i'll, I'll sew with half inch seam allowance so i'll just start sewing as you can see from my video okay please use pins basically if you don't use pins you're going to you're going to get it wrong because you know it's not so well and then one more thing don't stretch the crinoline let it follow the you know shape of the peplum so i finished sewing it okay and that's it now 
to the tricky part. It's not as if it's tricky, but you need to be very careful at this point, and it's very simple. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to attach, you want to sew the um, seam allowance onto the crinoline. Okay, so my right hand side is where the crinoline is, and my left hand side is the, uh, the plain part. So you fold the seam allowance towards the crinoline. Okay, and sew it down. Can you see what I'm can you see what I'm trying to do here? So you're sewing you are sewing the seam allowance on the crinoline. Like so. Can you see so yes, you just do it gently? Okay. So basically the part where you have the crinoline is supposed to be the lining. Okay. So once you do that, you know, just keep sewing gently. You can pin it down. Okay. So once you finish attaching that, this is what you're going to have. Now you can't leave the peplum like this. Okay, you need something to like make the um crinoline lie flat on the fabric, right? So what you need to do right now is to use your steam iron or your pressing iron. So use the iron to iron gently. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. Sorry guys, when I was ironing, honestly, I didn't know the camera was off. I didn't know. So, but you know, it's this what I just did. I just ironed with my steam iron. So you can see how flat and how neat it looks. So if you don't iron it, it's going to be it's not come out nice. If you don't pin it, it will not come out nice. If you don't follow all the steps I did, it will not come out nice. So don't be in a hurry. Make sure you pin and you press. So this is it here. So you can have several layers of peplum. You can have two. From the picture, you have about two. So you can see the you can see how wavy. That's the effect of the crinoline. The cleaning gives that wavy effect, okay? So then you attach this to your dress or whatever as seen in the picture. So once you're attaching it, you know, the the peplum will come out more. So like I said, the shorter the better. So that's it. I hope you were able to learn something from this video. Kindly leave your, your comments, your reactions, your questions, okay? And then do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.